Hey everyone, it's Kathy here, and today is the November 2019 kit reveal for Club La La Land Crafts. If you're a subscriber to my YouTube channel, then you probably know how much I love making albums. And I have a project to share today that I hope you're really going to enjoy. So first we're going to take a look at this month's kit. And I'm going to show you the full kit today that comes with two sets of cling rubber stamps and then a set of coordinating dies for whatever the month's theme is. And this month's theme is really awesome. I hope you guys are going to love it. So I have the kit subscriptions in the area below this video. There's also a stamps only kit and a dies only kit. Um, each month your kit comes in all packaged up here in this gold envelope in the mail. And there's a cover sheet that goes inside of this packaging. I just don't currently have mine right here. But it has the stamped images all colored up and then the sentiments and the pictures of the dies. And there's also a link on there uh, to PDF tutorials from the design team. So let's go ahead and take a look at the stamps first. This month's theme is reading and books. And there's some really cool coordinating dies too, so I'm super excited to share this. So this set is called Bookworm Marcy. And we've got Marcy here, and she's reading a little book. And then we've got a bookworm. And we've got a, definary, huh, a dictionary definition for a bookworm up here. It's super cool. And then we've got this sentiment here, a book is a dream you can hold in your hands. And then this one is every page is an adventure. And all of the products in the kit are exclusive to Club La La Land Crafts for 6 to 12 months after each kit is released. So you won't be able to buy these in the uh, regular La La Land Crafts store until then. And then our second set of stamps is called One More Chapter. And they are these adorable little critters. So we've got this cute little owl here. And there's a hippo holding a stack of books. And there's a little bunny with a book here. And then the sentiments on this set are just one more chapter. Read, sleep, repeat. So many books, so little time. And this is where I fell asleep. And now we're going to um, take a look at the dies. So first up, we have this really cool bookmark die. And what's really awesome is that um, some of the sentiments on these stamps fit perfectly for this bookmark, so it's a lot of fun to work with. There's this little topper die here that you can use to jazz it up. And then there's this other little topper here, and I'll show you how I've used that on my projects in just a few minutes. Then we have a table lamp die. We've got a little bookshelf here. And this one's really cool. You can cut apart these little books and use them in various ways. And we've got this little die here. This is read. And all the letters here um, punch out so that you can use them separately if you want. And then there's another die here that says I love books. And it's the same thing here where all the letters can be used separately. So let's go ahead and take a look at my project. So my projects for the kit reveal this month are all included in this one large pro project that I'm calling a reading journal. And this is an 8 by 8 inch sized book. Um, it's got a 3 quarter inch spine here. And if you are interested in how I constructed this, there is a five part video tutorial series on my channel. You're going to look for desktop planner video tutorial. And that has the basic construction. It's chipboard covers and a chipboard spine and they're wrapped in cardstock, and then um, you add everything on top of that. But um, even though the, the dimensions on the planner are a little bit different and the inside is a little different, it'll give you an idea of um, how, I, how I constructed this. So I based this whole um, journal on the Golden Sunset paper pack from La La Land Crafts. Um, I love the colors in it, the, the pinks and the teals, and I've added in a little lime green, and um, I love the color scheme, so I just went with it. Um, so, this 8x8 eight eight inch size gave me a lot of area to create uh, a little reading nook scene for Marcy and her friends. And so on the background here I've got one of those papers. And um, this little uh, wood floor here I did with Copic markers. I just cut a piece of white cardstock and, and colored that in. And the rug here is using a couple of La La Land Crafts oval dies. We've got more of the paper right here. 
And this is a Coordinations cardstock. It's one of the sandable type where it has that white core. And to get this, um, this look here around the edge of the rug, I took a stylus and a scoring board and scored each, each indentation in that little scalloped oval. I just went right along there with the stylus and then I took um, lightly sanded with some sandpaper afterwards to give it that look. Okay, so using the um, dies in the kit, super fun. So, um, you'll notice that Marcy is in a sitting position and there are several dies in this kit that you can have her sitting on. Um, I chose to use the little topper from the bookmark and make it kind of look like a little cushion or a stool. And so I've colored that up. I've There's a, a little notch in it that lines up with the bookmark die. And I just die cut that a couple of times and kind of made it look, I don't know, just a little decorative there on the bottom, maybe large stitching or something like that. So, and of course we got our cute little bunny here that I've colored. I've colored all the images with Copics. Um, and of course Marcy here. And the little hippo. And then for the bookcase, this I did using the bookmark die. I just cut a portion of the bookmark and uh, however tall here I wanted it. And then to create some shelving, I used the um, bookshelf die. And I cut the bottom of that um, shelf and inked it up and then just glued them here in place for the shelves. And then here you can see how you can cut apart the books from that bookshelf die and create a little um, scene with those. And then we have the table lamp here. And um, after I got this, I actually didn't notice this until I took the photos the other day. Um, so I have a little bit of like yellow colored here on that light, but the paper, the way that I put it on there, I just realized it kind of looks like it's, it's like shining light down on them. And I, I couldn't do that again if I tried really. I was like, wow, that's really cool. That was not intended. I just want you to know. So um, here I've used a La La Land Craft scalloped heart die just to kind of base my letters here. These were from that I Love Books die, and I just inked them up differently. I've heat embossed that little heart here. I don't know if you can see that little bit of shine. Yeah, there it goes. Um, so I like that you can use those outside of the die, too. Okay, let's talk about um, the spine. So this is a velvet paper, and I, I love using it on spines. I think it looks really, um, it's nice and neutral, and it gives a nice little look to it. So I have used, um, Irina has a few videos out there using the La La Land Craft stencils to emboss. And it's a super cool technique. That is what I've done here. Um, I used, those stencils are six by six. And so you'll kind of, I don't know if you can see this, but only a portion, the six by six inch portion here is embossed. And when I did that on the velvet paper, it left some lines. So that gave me an opportunity then to use a little strip of the velvet paper here and then I just added a little ribbon like you would kind of see on the spine of a book. Ah, okay. So I've got a book ring here and because I like to hang tags off my albums. Most, most of you subscribers will know that. Um, so how cool is that? This is that little reed die and I have die cut it six times and I inked each layer and then just glued them all together. On this, these top layers on both sides, I did not add the letters back into that top layer. So they're kind of, and I know you're not gonna be able to see this on the video, they're kind of indented there because the letters are missing on the two sides, which gives it a really cool look. Super thick too. Once I glued all those layers together, it's like, like thick chipboard. So that, that's really cool. I like the way that worked. I'm going to show you the back of this too before we get inside. So super simple, um, some more of the papers there from that paper pack. I've added a little trim here down the side, just decorative. And I've added, um, this little button is holding the closure. And the closure is a piece of leather. Um, I hand cut this little bit here. Sometimes it's hard when you, I tried using a die on that, but sometimes it's really hard with scissors. It doesn't, um, with leather, it doesn't cut well. So. I just kind of made it look a little fancier than a straight edge. And this is a little Tim Holtz, uh, I forget what these are called. Anyway, I use them a lot um, to, for, to hold the closure shut. And I've got a little magnet here too. It's, there's a magnet under this paper that it connects to just to keep that little flap um, down to the surface. But actually this is so small that it really didn't need it. 
Sometimes I do them a little bit longer and they need something, otherwise they kind of hang up a little bit. Um, and then more ribbon right down here on the spine. So that is the outside of the covers and now we will look inside. I made this for my niece. She's always loved reading and um, she's still in school. She, I think, is going to love this because little critters and stuff are just, you know, they're fun for little girls. So, or little boys, you know, whatever. But um, on this side, I've got a couple of bookmark holders. And so this is the curved pocket die from La La Land Crafts. And um, I thought it'd be cute just having two of these in here with a couple of bookmarks for her. And I have used the um, bookworm, the dictionary definition here. Um, I thought that was really cool. And then the little bookworm stamp. And then we've got this cute owl. He is so fun to color. That's fun. Um, more of the papers here, just a little decorative accent. And I will show you the bookmarks here in a second. I just want to go through the rest of this. So on the spine here, I don't know if you're going to be able to fully see that. There we go. Um, I've die cut that reed die and just layered them down the spine. Um, I thought that was kind of a cool effect there. And the letters, again, I didn't put the letters, I didn't glue them back in. I just used the outside of that shape. So it looks almost embossed. My husband thought it was embossed when he saw it. And he was like, how'd you do that? And I was like, no, no, no. That is a die. Okay. So on this side... Um, I made a little notebook and I thought maybe it could be used for writing down a reading list or taking notes. She's still in that stage where she's doing book reports and things, so um, taking notes and stuff for that. Um, and I will show you that in just a second in better detail. And then there's a pen or pencil holder over here. And this is just some elastic um, pink frilly um, ribbon, I guess is what you call that. And I'm at a loss for words right now. Um, this is a separate piece here, and in that planner video tutorial, I cover how to how to do that. It's super simple, um, and I think you'll kind of get get an idea of how all that was put together. So let's take a look at the bookmarks next. Um, kept them nice, just clean and simple. I kind of I kind of love these critters. <laughs> how cute are they? Okay, so. Um, more of the papers here. Really, the papers just kind of made the whole thing here. And cute little, I'm calling him Patches. I love him. Um, I used some seam binding here. You could put some, some ribbon in here. That's that little topper die I was talking about. Um, it lines at the bottom little slot. I am so sorry. Hold on just a second. Okay, sorry about the interruption. I probably should have shut that off before this video. Okay, so anyway, um, yeah, I'm calling him Patches. I love the bunny. Um, I've used this little topper here. It's got a slot right here that lines up with the slot in the bookmark. And so I just um, had it over the edge here and then tied um, my ribbon through it. And and there's the back here, just, just clean, simple. And then the other one, we've got the little hippo. And I thought maybe he looked like he was um, falling backwards here because of the weight of his books. And I just, I love these sentiments. So many books, so little time. And then more of the seam binding here and um, the coordinating papers. Okay, let's take a look at, let me move some of this. We're going to take a look here and I'll show you um, the notebook. There's a large pocket here on this side and the notebook, I've just slid the back cover into that pocket. So, really simple design over here. I think if you want to make this, you can put this together. I do. Okay, so here is the little notebook. I've used um, a nested frames, uh, the largest die from the large nested frames from La La Land Crafts, and I've cut it in half. I um, embossed it again with the Pretty Diamond stencil. I should have mentioned that. That's the stencil that I used on the spine of the book. And um, again, with some coordinations paper and lightly sanded it, I don't know if you, there you go, you can see it. Um, more, the, more of the Golden Sunset paper here. And this is a scalloped oval that I just kind of created a, a lighter place for them to be on so you can see them. Another bunny here, the hippo, the I Love Book Sty, um, perfect for the little bunny to sit on, also perfect for Marcy to sit on. And then the sentiment here, a book is a dream you can hold it in your hands. 
and I've used um, the long flag die from La La Land Crafts here. I uh, actually my my PDF tutorial is on this little book and these bookmarks. I describe how I did this. It might be easier for me to talk about it. Um, on the long flag die, it's easier to just stamp your image on. Um, white cardstock. I've inked this, so you can do it on colored cardstock if you want, but um, I stamped it on white cardstock. I took the long flag side because one end has that flag. So I took it and um, cut it on one way on the sentiment, and then I lined up that die cut back in the die and cut it the other way, and that's what gave me that rectangular shape so that you don't have the flags on the side. But I wanted flags on both sides, so I cut the long flags die a couple times and then just glued these behind that, that rectangular sentiment there. And then I matted the whole thing. I fussy cut, glued this whole piece onto cardstock, and then I fussy cut around the edges there. So that's that, and then I'll open it up here. On the inside, um, I've got a darker peach cardstock here that I've embossed using that stencil. And then another one of um, these. This was actually an accident, but I like the way it looks. Um, I used a bind it all to to bind this album, and I had everything perfect. And I went to punch this front cover, and it totally just it was not aligned right. The square, the rectangles were all wonky, and that happens sometimes. So I overcame, and I just added a little scalloped piece here, which covered up the the problem with the holes. So now you know my secrets. Uh, on the back cover, more of the paper, I added that again just to keep it in line with my mistake, and then on the inside. And then I've got, this is kind of a thick parchment paper in here, there's about 15 sheets, um, cut them down. You could fit much more if you're not doing a thicker cardstock, if you're just doing like lined paper, or regular paper, you could get a lot more in there. But once she runs out of the paper, I can just, I have enough of these half inch um, wires that I can just redo it, cut more paper, and put it back in there. So that is the little notebook. I'll show you how that slides back in again. And so you just take that back cover and slide it right in. And there we go. So I hope you've enjoyed my project today. Oops, let's put our bookmarks back in there. And um, if you want to subscribe and receive November's kit, you have until November 20th to subscribe to get this one. Otherwise, if you sign up after that, you're going to start with December's kit. So keep that in mind. Check out those um, subscription links. If you're not already a club subscriber, we'd love to have you join us in the fun. And um, I'm going to have a couple more inspiration projects using the kit on the 19th. So I'll have those up on my blog. They'll also be on the La La Land Crafts blog. So check that out. And um, I'll see you again soon. Thanks.